Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a makeup look on my mama right here. I created this look that's great if you wanna go out in. It has a lot of steps in it, so it is more of a fancier going out look, um, especially since she's a mom. She probably doesn't have time to do this every single day. But if you do, um, it's a great way to look fancy, to go to the grocery store or for your everyday tasks. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new about how you can apply makeup to more mature skin or if you have more mature skin. I hope this is informative for you guys and you learned something new about what you could change up in your everyday routine or your nightly routine. And then quickly, I want to, um, her to actually talk about her skincare really quickly so you guys know what we did to prep her skin. So I want her to talk a little bit about her skincare and um, how what she does before she applies her makeup. So um, that's good for her people her age. So oh thanks. What <laughs> so what kind so of, always start with a clean face, right? Always start with a clean face. So you cleanse your face. I cleanse my face. And what product do you I use? I usually use the Lancome. It's kind of a milky cleanser, comes in a big white bottle, um, but it's very gentle on the skin and it's good for my skin tone. And I think kind of that, that cleanser normal. is for dry to normal skin. Dry to normal, yeah. So that's what I have. I don't have any oily skin. Um, and then uh, I use a moisturizer. I use the Lancome Visionaire. I, I'm not sure it's called Visionaire. No, it's in a big other, gray bottle. Thing. Yeah, it's in a big bluish gray bottle. And it's great for uh, dry skin. It's very yeah. moisturizing. It is on the thicker side. So oh, it's Renergy. It's Renergy. That's Renergy? what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is on the thicker side. So I would suggest applying your um, that moisturizer on and then waiting 10 minutes for that to soak into your skin first before yeah. you go straight on with your foundation. But you could get started on the eyes first and then go to the skin. Skin. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just personal preference, right? And then, is and then I else? use the Bobbi Brown um, under eye cream. Okay. You know, always use something for my under eyes to hydrate them because they're drier as we get older, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then I use well, I do use a sunscreen once in a while. Yes. I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. Um, but I'm not out in the sun a lot, it seems. You can tell by my pale skin. And then, so since she doesn't apply a ton of sunscreen, I put sunscreen on her, but I didn't film it. But I wanted to talk about the one that I used on her. And this one is the California Skin Institute um, sunscreen. And I really, really, really like this one. This has probably been my favorite sunscreen I have personally found and used on myself and on other people. Um, because one has SPF 45, to it sinks right into the skin so it doesn't look mm. greasy on your skin it looks more of a glowy um kind of look to your skin um three it smells really good it smells like bananas and cucumbers four um there's a fourth there is a fourth okay the fourth one why i really really like it is because it's actually the sunscreen is a combination between a sunscreen and a moisturizer so it's not just a sunscreen where sometimes it could dry you out but it's actually a moisturizer as well so it actually is adding a more moisture onto her skin when i apply it which is really good for drier skin um and it also just leaves your face feeling super soft so it actually is a really great base to apply makeup to so I highly recommend it, California Skin Institute. I'll link, I'll link it down. Um, I'll, I'll leave it down in the description bar below if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, so that was her prep. So let's move on into the makeup to see how I created this makeup look on my mama. Okay, with the dog. To start my mom's makeup, I'm going to be using these Smashbox contour sticks. And I'm first going to go in with the bronze one and apply that on her forehead and then with the contouring one I'm going to contour her cheekbones underneath her jaw her nose and right underneath the lip just to sculpt out her features so when we apply the foundation I can see where her bone structure is and I'm gonna be using a lot of cream products in this video because more mature skin is on the drier side so cream products will be more beneficial for your makeup and how it sits and how it blends out as well. Next, taking a small duo fire brush from MAC, I'm going to start blending that into her skin and I'm not 
blending this completely into the skin I'm just smoothing out the lines from the stick pencils and when we apply the foundation the foundation sponge that we will use will blend out the cream products nicely Your skin will look like her bone structure is popping out more and there's more color and structure to her face now taking the highlight stick from the contour trio I'm going to highlight the center of her face just to add a bit more light to her face before we apply the foundation and I'm going to use my finger to blend it out just so we can warm up the product so it blends out nicely and I'm also not going to put that highlight underneath her eyes because I'm going to be using a brighter concealer to do the job. For her foundation, I'm going to be mixing two shades to get her ideal shade for her face. And I mix the Too Faced Born This Way foundation warm beige with the LA Girl HD foundation in white. And what that simply does is that it just lightens the Too Faced one because it was a pretty good undertone but it was a little dark for her. So I'm applying that with the Beauty Blender and the reason why I chose a Beauty Blender instead of a brush is because the Beauty Blender is supposed to be used damp so it's adding moisture into the foundation and into her skin. It's not drying like a brush can be and I also don't want to heavily apply the foundation because a little bit goes a long way with mature woman you really don't want to pack the foundation on because it could end up being a mess and not exactly what you want and I will also be using the beauty blender to apply some of the foundation to her neck this is a great tip if you are in the mature section of age discoloration is the number one thing that ages women so my mom has a lot of redness and on her neck and she's also very pale so bringing the foundation down and just keeping her neck and her face the same color really takes a lot of years off of her um, and it just makes everything look very consistent and youthful now I'm gonna hide her discoloration underneath her eyes and I'm gonna be using my favorite corrector ever which is the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer in the shade medium and I'm using a the more pinky side of it and I'm just going to place that underneath the areas where she has darkness and blend that out with the beauty blender. I don't want to apply a ton of this just because it is a thick cream and I don't want her under eyes to crease or to have a lot of line show so I'm going to keep it very thin and just in the places where I need it. Now I'm going to highlight her face with some concealer and I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is my absolute favorite concealer ever just because it's a very radiant finish so it's going to add a lot of brightness and just a beautiful radiance to your under eyes which is perfect for women who have more drier skin because it's going to give you the illusion of that beautiful healthy looking skin. And I'm lightly applying it underneath her eyes and blending it out with a beauty blender. And I don't want to apply too much just because I don't want a ton of product underneath the eyes because too much buildup is just not good. So keep it light when you're applying your concealer. Don't go too heavy handed. And I'm going to be highlighting her entire face with it. So the under eyes, her chin, Cupid's bow, bridge of the nose, and her forehead. To bronze up her forehead a little bit more, I'm going to be using the Hoola Liquid Bronzer and I'm applying that with a concealer brush and I'm just going to tap that into her forehead and up into her hairline with the Beauty Blender. For her blush, I'm going to be using a cream blush stick from Smashbox. I am forgetting the name but I will leave it below in the description bar and I'm using my finger to blend that out and I'm also going to be tapping it with the beauty blender where the foundation side is just to decrease the color so it isn't very clown like on her skin. It just looks very natural kind of lit from within color. Another trick that I'm going to use on her is blotting her face with a pulled apart tissue. What this does is it soaks up any excess oil that lays on her skin from the foundation and the cream products that we used and it helps us in the end with powder so we don't have to powder her face as much so it actually looks more natural and just looks more um, glowy and luminous instead of shiny. 
Now I'm going to lightly dust her face with the RCMA powder and this is the no color one and I really like this one because it's very very finely milled so it's not going to sink into any fine lines or wrinkles. To contour her face I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpting Face palette and I'm going to be using the Morphe Y11 brush. I absolutely love this brush for creating a really nice sharp contour. It really gets into the nooks and crannies so I highly recommend both these products. For her blush I'm going to be using Max Blush in Sincere which is a really pretty nude peachy tone blush. And then for her highlight, I'm going to be using using the Artist Couture Highlighter in Illuminati. And the reason why I love the Artist Couture Highlighters is because they're super shimmery and they have a ton of glitter in it, but it's a very fine milled glitter, so it's not going to look or bring out any fine lines or wrinkles. It's really going to make the skin look really glowy and just all around, it will make your skin look beautiful. For her brows, it's important to not overdraw them because that's just going to look too harsh on more mature skin. So I'm very lightly putting pressure against her skin using the Anastasia pencil, Brow Wiz pencil in Caramel, which is pretty much a spot on match to her hair color. And I am defining her brows a little bit more and I'm starting with drawing it at the very top of the brow and then filling in a little bit on the bottom just to give her brows a little bit more of an elevated look. And then I'm just priming her eyes with some NARS eye primer. It's my favorite primer ever. If you don't own it, go get it. It's awesome. And then we're going to get on with the eyeshadow and we're going to first start with the star of the show for her eyes. And this is a Chanel cream base in the shade New Moon, which is a very beautiful, glittery, pewter purpley shade that's really going to make her green eyes stand out. For her eyeshadow, I'm going to be starting off with the Huda Beauty Eyeshadow Obsessions Palette in Mauve, which is perfect for green eyes. And I'm going to go in with a dark color and just pack it on the outer part of the eye and blend that out with the middle shade in the palette. And I'm using a Morphe 433 brush to do that. And I'm just softening up the edges to that harsh purpley shade that we put in the outer corner. Now that step is optional. If you want more of an everyday look, you can just stick with the crease color. But for my mom, she needs a bit more definition in her eyes. And then we're going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Light Medium with the Delian Tools brush. I'm going to use that as her transition shade in her crease just to blend everything together so there's no harsh edges. Now I'm placing the bronzer underneath her eyes and then with the MAC 239 I'm going to pack the medium tone purple color we used on her crease underneath her eyes for added definition. Next going in with the corner shade in the palette, I'm going to be using a flat definer brush from Morphe to tight line her eyes with that shade. And I'm really packing it on starting from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner so it really defines her lash line and gives it more um, depth and volume. But this is also going to look very soft on her skin instead of a harsh pencil, gel, or liquid liner. Taking that light pink shimmery shade from the palette, I'm going to be using that as her inner corner highlight. It's just going to add a brightness to her eye and that pink shade is really going to help make the green eye stand out. To brighten up her eyes and to make them bigger, I'm going to be lining her waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil Liner in Nude. For her mascara, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinite, I think that's how you say it, for her eyelashes. First I'm going to curl them, but this mascara is awesome. This is currently my new favorite mascara ever. I can't decide if I like this better than the Too Faced, but it is so worth trying and it looked so good on my mom. It really defines her eyelashes, it lengthens, it adds volume, it's super black, it is a fantastic mascara and you definitely need to purchase it. To finish off her eyes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Perfect Black Gel Liner Eyeliner to do her tight line and this is going to add really great definition to her lashes and really thicken them. To start her lips, I'm going to first go in with the ColourPop 
Lippy Stick Lip Primer. I really like this primer because it blurs any lines on the lips. It adds a great base for the lipstick and lip liner to stick to and also just helps the longevity of tube lipstick stay on for a very long time. To line her lips, I'm going to be using a limited edition MAC lip pencil, and this is in the shade Double Take. It was from the Holiday Collection last year. It's just a beautiful light peach pinky shade that will complement her green eyes really nicely. And I am going to overdraw her top lip a tiny bit just to add a bit more volume to her lips because this will look more youthful on her. For her lipstick, I'm going to be using the matching lipstick to that holiday set, and this is in the shade Sending Love. And this is a pinky nude, and this is also a cream sheen finish. So it's going to be moisturizing on the lips, and it's also going to add a little bit of a glossy sheen. So it's going to look like a very natural lip color on her. And to top it off, I'm going to be using a lip gloss from Urban Decay in the shade Lunar. It has a bit of a purpley brown undertone, so it's going to tie in the purple shades from the eyeshadow to her lips. And that is the completed look for my mama. I hope you guys really like this video and you learned something new or something different you could add to your everyday makeup routine. Um, thank you again so much for watching. And if you also recreate this look, make sure you guys send me pictures or tag me but here's a little clip of her completed look thanks guys